Did you ever wonder how your RV experience may have been different if you knew now what you didn't know back then? Well, today I'm going to tell you all the things that we wish we knew way back then when we started RVing that we know now. So let's get started. Now, right away, I'm going to tell you that you don't need as much as you think you need. All that stuff that you think you need to get started, you do not need to get started. When we first started, we purchased so many accessories and grills and chairs and just things that we thought we would need in order to start traveling. Well, you don't need them. I can't begin to tell you how many grills we've gotten rid of, how many camping chairs we've went through. I mean, personally, I go through a camping chair a year because I find a new one that I think I like better. Well, you don't need all that stuff. I mean, the beauty of RVing is that you can get out there and do more with less. I mean, that's the whole idea. Don't get overwhelmed with everything that you think you need. Just get the essentials. I actually created a video that I'll link to right here of the five essentials that you really do need before you get started. Don't go out there and buy everything right away. If you wait until you have everything that you think you need, you're never gonna get started. If you're new here to the channel and you're getting a little value out of this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notifications so you can see all the videos about our RV travels, tips and tricks. Now, speaking of essentials, you can get overwhelmed with all the tools that you think you need. Just remember this one thing, there's stores where you're going. If you really need something and you forgot to bring it or you don't have it, you can always buy it. I would recommend bringing just a standard toolbox with things like a hammer, screwdriver, pliers, all your basic tools. I definitely would recommend a screw gun and maybe an impact driver. Those are things that you definitely might need. And one of the other things that I really think that you need as far as tools go is an air pump. Now we use the Vi air pump. It's great for bikes. It's great for the truck, the RV, but you don't need to go crazy buying all sorts of torque wrenches and things like that. If you feel you need it, you could always buy it afterwards. Oh, another thing that I actually think you really do need to stick in that toolbox is a tire pressure gauge. That'll tell you what the PSI is on all your tires. And that is something that's very important because that's going to lead me to my next thing that I wish I knew. And that is all about tires. Oh, tires, oh, tires. So I literally knew nothing about tires. I didn't know about tire pressure. I didn't know about temperature. I didn't know that the tires that came on my RV were absolute garbage. Yeah, replace those right away. I knew nothing. And because of my lack of knowledge, we had a couple of blowouts. Yep, here we are again. No. I know, I caught this oh, one. Well, way before anything happened. Thank God nothing major happened. We had a little damage to the RV in one of them, but it was something that I wish I knew more about. Now I have all the knowledge in the world about tires. I actually went out and got myself a TPMS. You can check the link in the description to the one that we use. And it just gives me total peace of mind. I know the tire pressure in all four of my tires at all times. If it starts going low, there's a crazy beeping noise that alerts me and I can pull over. So no more blowouts on the side of the road. I mean, do you know what it's like when someone pulls up next to you and is pointing to your RV to let you know that you have a blowout that you didn't know about? Tires is definitely something that I wish I had known more about before we started RVing. Hey, comment below if you are a new RVer. I'd love to connect with you and hear all about your travels. Now, I also wish that I knew that Getting there, the journey was actually part of the adventure. You see, in our first couple of RV trips, we were go, 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 get to the destination as fast as we could, set up and stay there for as long as we could. Now, since we've been doing it for a couple of years, we've learned to take our time and get there at our own pace. We have figured out a way to kind of maximize our driving days, stopping, seeing some, some sights on the roads. In fact, I created a video about one of our driving days that I'll click to it right here. But getting there is part of the adventure. In fact, I know that there are some other YouTubers that try to kind of instill this 330 rule. They don't drive any more than 330 miles in a day and they make sure that they get to their location by 3.30 in the afternoon. Taking your time and finding things along the way that you can stop and see. I mean, there's so many places that are really cool to check out here in this country that you shouldn't just fly right by them. So taking your time is something I wish we knew before we started. How to properly plan your route 
is also something I wish I knew before we started. You see, crowded campgrounds are the normal these days. You're not gonna pull into a campground on a busy weekend and just expect to get a spot. Those days are long gone, especially with the influx of new campers, which is fantastic. More and more campgrounds are becoming crowded. Planning our route is something that I wish I knew how to do better when we started. See, I would just kind of like open up a map and see where we were going. Now we use tools like roadtrippers.com to plan out our route much better. And you can check out that video too right here if you like. Maybe you have a backup plan. Maybe if the one campground you're gonna go to is Phil, then you have a backup for that. So just being a little more planned out and thoughtful is something that I wish we knew before we got started. Being a new RVer can be very overwhelming. If you're looking to get a head start, check out this video right here that I created and we will see you on the road.